Welcome to this video on office procedures based on the manual of office procedures 2010 revised and updated by the Nagaland Civil Secretariat. In this video, we will look at the issue of drafts part 2. In this part, we will look at the signing of fair communications, issue of signed communications, dispatch of postal communication, dispatch of non-postal communication, return of papers, issue of interdepartmental notes, stamps account register, actions after issue. Let us begin with the signing of fair communications. Departments may issue instructions authorizing section officer of the central issue section to authenticate specified categories of fair communications for issue. Such authorizations, however, will not extend to orders and instruments issued in the name of the governor, financial sanctions, and communications to members of parliament or MLAs, state governments, public bodies, and members of the public generally. Signing of fair communications and movement of signature pads will receive prompt attention. On return of signature pads, the section officer will see that the fair copies have been duly signed by the officer concerned and that correction, if any, made while signing are carried out in all copies. The signed fair copies together with office copies Drafts and relevant files, if any, will then be passed on to the dispatcher. Let us now look at the issue of signed communications. The dispatcher of the central issue section will date the fair copy, office copy and spare copies, if any, affix the stamp issued after adjusting the date as per specimen given above in the manual of office procedures on the office copy and initial it where for any reason an enclosure has to be sent separately make a note to that officer on the communication both fair and office copy and attach a slip to the enclosure indicating the number and date of the communication to which it relates separate the communications to be sent by post through electronic form as well as those to be delivered by hand for further processing in accordance with paras 85 and 86 of this chapter in the manual enclose communications meant for dispatch by post or those addressed to officers by name in covers of appropriate size ensuring at the same time that all communications intended for the same addressee are placed in a single cover. Use economy slips for all covers except those with bulky contents, those addressed to foreign governments, those intended for dispatch under registered or insured covers. Where window envelopes are in use, fold the fair communications in such a way that the address type thereon is visible through the window where other covers are used write the address and the number of the communication on an economy slip or the cover as the case may be and bring to the notice of the section officer urgent communications which could not be dispatched on the day of their receipt and ordinary communications which could not be dispatched even on the day following the day of their receipt. Let us now look at the dispatch of postal communication. The dispatcher will hand over communications to be sent by post to the Pun or Daftri who will then separate those to be sent by foreign post from the rest. Paste the telegrams if typed on plain paper over the printed form of telegram supplied by the Department of Posts and affix service postage stamps of the appropriate value thereon. 
if a credit deposit account is maintained for issuing telegrams a fix rubber stamp indicating the credit deposit account number assigned to the department in the space provided for affixing postage stamps affix postage stamps of the appropriate value on covers packets etc where necessary after weighing them using ordinary postage stamps for foreign post and service postage stamps for inland post where postal franking machines are in use frank the covers etc instead of affixing postage stamps stamp the covers with a rubber stamp bearing the name of the department and return the communications to the dispatcher the dispatcher will enter the particulars of the communications and the value of stamps affixed thereon in the dispatch register as mentioned in appendix 15 of the manual of office procedures this can be generated automatically in a computer environment in the case of telegrams the serial number assigned to them in the dispatch register will be noted at a convenient place on the top receipt portion of the printed telegram form to facilitate the linking of the telegram receipts to the relevant entries in the dispatch register departments dispatching registered post exceeding a daily average of 10 will use postal registrations so that the outgoing registered communications could straight away be entered in that book instead of in the dispatch register each entry in such a book will then be got stamped by the post office if a communication is to be sent by registered post acknowledgement due the number of the communication will be written on the acknowledgement card also so that when received back it can be sent to the branch concerned receipts for telegrams speed post registered and insured post etc will be checked carefully by the dispatcher these will be filed properly for reference in the event of need in offices where dispatch work is heavy and where central dispatch registers are maintained in detail the procedure for maintenance of service posted stamps account has been given in appendix 16 of the manual of office procedures we'll now move on to look at the dispatch of non postal communication non postal communications will be sorted out according to the location of the addresses entered in the messenger books and handed over to the messenger for delivery to the addresses messenger books will be numbered serially and an adequate number of such books allotted to each department office or several departments or offices grouped conveniently according to their location urgent communications will be dispatched promptly the time of dispatch will invariably be noted in the messenger book the receipts will similarly be required to indicate the time of their receipt ordinary communications will be dispatched at least twice a day at suitable intervals only urgent communications will be dispatched outside office hours no communication will be sent to an officer at his residence unless it is of such a nature that action thereon cannot wait till the commencement of the new working day it is marked immediate and addressed to the officer by name and its delivery to the officer's residence has been authorized by the branch officer concerned at the dispatching end after the communications have been delivered the dispatcher will examine the messenger books to see that all the communications entered therein have been duly acknowledged by the recipients under dated signatures written in ink instances where the communications have not been acknowledged will be immediately brought to the notice of the section officer of the central issue section for investigation and further suitable action
urgent communication sent through fax will generate a confirmation slip of delivery on the fax machine which will be recorded on the file along with the office copy the original communication sent through fax will subsequently be sent in a routine manner also email will be used in offices having computers supported by internet or intranet connectivity messages received through email will ordinarily be replied to in the same form by the officer receiving the message or his subordinate email correspondence may also be initiated to cut down the time taken in communications on issues not having financial or legal implications all points emerging during email correspondence will be recorded through a note on the file concerned let us now look at the return of papers after issue of fair communications the dispatcher will make over office copies together with drafts and relevant files if any to the assistant maintaining the issue diary the latter will return the papers to the diarists of the branch concerned after making entries in column 3 of the issue diary we now go to issue of interdepartmental notes drafts of self contained interdepartmental notes will be issued in the same manner as any other draft interdepartmental notes sought to be recorded on files will be fair typed and compared in the sections or branches concerned but dispatched through the central issue section before sending the files to the central issue section for dispatch the diarist will mark the movement in the file movement register in the case of branch's own file and in the branch diary in other cases in respect of branch's own files prepare a chalan in duplicate and place one copy on the file and make over the other to the dealing hand concerned enter the file in the messenger book and send it to the dispatcher of the central issue section in the branch system the jobs corresponding to a to d in the chapter in this manual of office procedures will be performed by the stenographer or assistant attached to the branch functionary the dispatcher will then remove the file for dispatch to the addressee acknowledge its receipt in the messenger book and return the messenger book to the branch concerned let us now look at stamps account register the dispatcher will maintain an account of the posted stamps in the form given in appendix 17 in the manual of office procedures the section officer will check the entries made in the register every day and append his signature with date in token of his having done so he will also conduct surprise test checks of envelopes ready for dispatch by post to make sure that the value of stamps affixed thereon tallies with that shown in the dispatch register and that the required value has been secured by using the minimum number of stamps of appropriate higher denominations the branch officer in charge of the central issue section will also inspect the two registers once a month and verify that the value of stamps in hand tallies with that shown in the register in the computerized environment this information will be generated once a month let us finally look at actions after issue on receipt of papers after issue the diarist will check that the office copies bear the stamp issued make sure that files and other papers sent with the drafts to the central issue section have been received back make entries about the return of files in the file movement register make entries in branch dispatch register as given in appendix 18 of the manual of office procedures 
place office copies with drafts if any on the relevant files and pass on the files to the dealing hands concerned the dealing hand will then docket the communications issued along with the original of the approved drafts where so required examine whether the case is fit for inclusion in any of the following reports and obtain orders of the appropriate officer the weekly statement of cases other than those of a routine nature disposed of without reference to the minister in charge as given in appendix 19 of the manual to be submitted to the minister in accordance with departmental instructions and monthly summary of the principal activities of the department to be furnished to the cabinet cell in accordance with the instructions issued by it initiate action to record the file where it has been marked for record by the section officer if a reply to the communication issued is to be awaited or further action on the file is to be resumed at a later date mark the file for being brought forward on that date in computer environment an entry will automatically generate a reminder on that date make a note of it in the engagement calendar and diary or the relevant date and pass on the file to the diarist for recording its movement in the file movement register similar action will be taken also on duplicate copies of chalan in respect of files referred to other departments the section officer will scrutinize the branch dispatch register as given in appendix 18 of the manual once a week to see that it is being properly maintained and append his initials with date in token of scrutiny in computer environment he will generate weekly report through the computer in the branch system all activities outlined in sub paras 1 to 3 in this chapter in sections 1 to 3 above will be performed by the branch functionary with the assistance of the stenographer or assistant attached to him to facilitate a quick dispatch of papers the central issue section will maintain the following lists and directories residential addresses and telephone numbers of officers and staff of the department departments which have arrangements within the central registry for receipt of dark outside office hours with name and telephone number of the official in charge residential addresses and telephone numbers of officers of other departments designated to receive urgent dark outside office hours residential addresses and telephone numbers of officers of other departments designated to receive assembly papers postal addresses of all offices under the department attached offices subordinate offices autonomous bodies etc which deal directly with it telegraphic and email addresses and telephone and fax numbers of state governments and other outstation offices frequently addressed members of rajya sabha and lok sabha mlas including council of ministers official directory issued by the ministry of home affairs list of india's representatives abroad issued by the ministry of external affairs diplomatic list issued by the ministry of external affairs and schedule of postal rates and postal pin code directory these lists will be kept up to date and displayed prominently for easy consultation by the dispatcher and other officials on duty this brings us to a close of part 2 of issue of drafts thank you for watching this video on office procedures based on the manual of office procedures 2010 revised and updated by the nagaland civil secretariat